I sat here yesterday and watched my mom cry. And I Amber Brown shaken after her mother, who lives with several disabilities, had her car stolen Sunday afternoon. I'm devastated. 55-year-old Barbara Brown, now without a vehicle to get to her many doctor appointments. My back. It's got bone on bone. There's no disc. I had to go to the Speedway to get gas. Barbara had just filled up at the Speedway near Leonard and Turner. She left her car running as she went inside to pay, but once she was out of sight, this man apparently jumped in her vehicle and sped off. She was hysterical, crying. I'm like, Mom, quit playing with me, you know. It this ain't nothing to joke about. She's like, I'm serious. I'm waiting for the cops. As soon as she heard what happened to her mom, Amber flipped on her police scanner app. Within an hour and a half, she heard police talking about a vehicle that matched her mom's. It had been in a crash at Porter and Byron Center in Wyoming. The whole corner was blacked off. Um, the car was still there. Amber's sister drove out to the crash to confirm it was, in fact, her mother's car. They had to extricate somebody out of the car the person that was still in there, um, and they told us he might not make it through the night. Now the family is reeling, trying to figure out how mom will get around. I can't do a lot because of my disability, and that was my only car to do anything, get to the doctors, get home. That's basically what I use them for. Amber launching a GoFundMe campaign to try and raise enough to get her mom a new vehicle. To all you young Kids out there, stop it, because that could have been your mother. Like, it really could have. Wyoming police tell us that they are still looking for the driver of her vehicle. The passenger in it, though, was seriously injured in the crash, still being treated at a local hospital. For information on how you can donate to Barbara's campaign, head to our web article at fox17online.com. For now, in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.